Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and I wanted to talk about the Victorinox Secretary and their equivalent from Wanger, the Patriot. Now, I know I made a video on the 84 millimeter Secretary and Pocket Pal, but the reason why I'm making another video on this specific knife is because this one here is new to the collection. Yeah, I recently picked this one up and I mean, it's never been, never been sharpened, never been, as far as I can see, really abused. But it's been carried, but it's not in rough shape. And I just wanted to make a video on this because this specific model is getting harder and harder to find. The one you can still get from Victorinox is the Secretary um, with the silver scales. And they still sell this now, which is really great because sometimes you don't want a Victorinox with a bunch of tools on it. But these are just handsome, handsome little knives. Extremely thin, extremely thin. Let me see really quick how thin these actually are. We are sitting at, in the middle, very center of this, seven millimeters thick. We are at seven millimeters thick on that. Now, is that compact or what? So, beautiful, beautiful knives. And we have also here the Wanger equivalent, the Patriot. Now, this was the Wanger's answer to Victoria Knox's knife. Now, personally, I think this comes up short. The springs feel weaker. I love their small pen blade though. So useful for scratching out pen marks on paper or making very small precise cuts into envelopes. Very useful little point and a wonderful place for your finger to rest. Really a great little knife and it's too bad you, you can't buy that specific layout anymore. Uh, Wanger was acquired by Victorinox recently, uh, many years ago, uh, probably less than 10 years ago, but, um, and they did away with a lot of Wanger's models. But if you wanted to get a Wanger style knife from Victorinox, all you'd have to go and do is look at Victorinox Delamont series, because Wanger was produced in Delamont, Switzerland. So, we also have here, this one is a secretary, but this is an older secretary. You know that by the nickel silver bale here. And then on the back here, we have a Victoria stamp on the tang. So that, that puts this, I think that puts this into the 60s. So this, this is definitely um, one that has seen some days and some use. I have done a little bit of restoration work on the blade, and I did correct some nicks and stuff in the blade, but this one came out perfect and is suitable to be in my collection at least. And I don't see many of these. I actually got lucky and got this in a TSA lot, so that was kind of a stroke of luck luck but you can see the similarities we still have a keychain i wouldn't have put that on my keychain back in the day but we have a keychain here we have this wonderful dark red this is faded to kind of a nice satin um light cherry red and then we have a more dull um almost don't know how it's coming out here but it's uh, it's kind of a like a Hot Wheels fire engine red, where this one is a nice vibrant cherry red. And then you have silver. So just wanted to do a really quick video on this recent acquisition of mine, the ever disappearing red secretary. These are getting harder and harder to find. So if you do find one, I say snag it up, but don't, don't pay ridiculous prices for it. So if you enjoyed this video, Leave a like and leave a comment. I really enjoy those and interacting with everybody. I know I have a very small channel, but I do enjoy interacting with y'all. So thank you so much for checking out this video and spending some time with me and my knives. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Thank you so much.